Today I'm working on a 320i BMW. I'm going to be looking at the water pump. The water pump is electronically controlled rather than driven by the engine. I'll just check the fault codes and show you what they are. Okay, we've got the electric coolant pump missing, and that's present. Uh, the screen seems to be jumping about. Thermostat activation is not present. The radiator blind top is not present. I have checked them and they were working in the cylinder. It says fuel injector cylinder 3 activation. And then we're back to the water pump, the coolant pump. So that's the one that I'm going to look at today. This is what the coolant pump looks like. It's quite big, big motor. The two pipes. Almost looks like a turbo inside there. It's the impeller to propel the water about. It's got three bolts and a multi plug with four wires. It's situated down there. That's the motor still on the car. This is another motor. It was just easier to show you it. I'm going to check the wire then. I'm going to start using the test light. Connect it to ground. When it gets power, it lights up. And just put it onto a different ground. Yeah. Okay, so it's lighting. I'll go to these wires that are down there. I'll get a light. See them. I'm going to show you with the tip of the test light, but then there. Then there. So the first one lights it, lights on. Second one off. Third one nothing. The last one is a thick wire. So I need to move my test light. That I like positive. Now when I touch the ground, there's a light. See? There you go. So the ground wire is good and the power wire. Now I'm going to check the two middle ones. It's very hard to see it in there. That's a bit better. So plug's disconnected, just checking it there. And then, yeah, so. And the wire, and the test light lights. And the test lead to the ground, and now if I find power, like that, that'll light. So I'll go to the thick power lead down here. There. And test light lights. It's the only one that lights now. I'm going to put the ignition on. And then I should get the others working. Okay, now I'm still connected to the test light connected to ground. On there. I'll just check it works again. That does. Now I've got the ignition on. Going inside, put the ignition on. So now we're going to check the other wires. Put the second one in. Yeah, last time that was lighting up. I'm not getting it to light. That one. Not lighting. Maybe it was that one. Nope, neither of them are lighting today. Hey, I'm going to see if the blow motor needs to be turned on. Okay, now I've got the blow motor on and I'm going to show you with a scope. One channel scope, so I'll just run through them all. 
Admissions on the engines off. The first wire. I've got battery voltage. Battery's a bit low. So the engine's not running. The next one, with the heater on, with the blow motor on. Okay, that's the next one along. With the blow motor on, we get the same battery voltage. That's the small wire next to the power wire. Next one along, the next small thin wire, we're getting a controlled signal, right? So we know we're getting the control to the pump. And the last one, This one is the ground, but I move this to there, might get negative 12, yeah, negative battery. So that's checked all the wires. I just thought it was an interesting pump, slightly different than other ones, and showing you what you could expect to see. We'll go back to the control wire, right, which slow the time down a bit. It's just on off on off. I've got five volts per division, so it's actually on and off. It's kind of like duty cycle. So there we go. That's how that's working. I'm going to put the new one on and see if it works. I was going to plug it in without connecting it just to be sure. But the wire's not long enough to do that, so I'm going to have to take the other one out of the way and then fit this and try it. You see that noid light in there that's flashing away? That's going into the wire. It would go into the thermostat here to help heat it. To help control the heating of it. That's also flagging up as a fault code. So I'm just checking the wires whilst I'm here. And the wires are fine, it's flashing that. I'd previously checked it with a scope and it was on and off. I think it was like 7 volts or 5 volts it on and off. So I might need to change that. I'll check the resistance if I can whilst I'm here. This new water pump is fitted and you can see the spray coming through from this hose here. That spray inside there, so you know it's working away fine now.